And now we enter the salon of the Benetton 41. As you might have see from the start, the entrance to the salon is very, very cozy, for lack of a better term. It's very shallow, non-steep way down. And these walls provide a space to lean against in seaway. And as we are here, we can see the mortar right away. So it's tucked away in there. Now for the salon. Let's start with the galley. No, actually, let's start with this large mirror. Everyone loved it. Basically, this is genius. It opens up the space. It does. You can believe me, you cannot believe me. It does open up the space. It provides a space to leave gifts for the next crew. And, but basically, it hides the bathroom. The bathroom lives, um, basically, the aft head lives back there, but it's not visible from here because it opens up this whole space for living. Let's look at the galley, L-shaped galley. On this uh, particular boat, it has two fridges, one top-down fridge, oh, which doesn't look nice. But the one thing I want to show you about this fridge is that it actually has a possibility to, you see, it has a built-in water pump. I had the pleasure to once uh, clear junk and uh, foul meat from such a fridge. It's not a pleasure. And there is a second fridge down below. Uh, for even more stuff. The only problem with these fridges is that as we only had about 200 watts of solar It couldn't keep up with the fridge consumption So we had to turn them off when the motor wasn't running otherwise quite standard um, two burner stove and oven uh, some place uh, for your pens and what I always like is a salt water pump because it helps you save water a lot. I wouldn't want to pump it because it's a foot pump. I won't pump it because we're in a harbor and you shouldn't pump it in a harbor. And two things, not too big, not too small. I would have preferred them bigger. Deep, very deep storage drawers. Look, half an arm depth, space for all and everything and even some food. They go all the way in all, on this side, five of them. And they go on the other side, Two of them, which was also a shelf up there. Let's continue to the salon. Basically, <clears throat> that's the living area and the chart area. This is my office. No one touches the chart table. No food on the chart table. The chart table, um, what I like, let's start with the thing I like. It's quite open. You can sit many people here. You can uh, lower this table and sleep people here. And it has a very clean look to it. What I don't like is that there is not a foldable part of this table. Because sitting on, in this chair, comfortable chair, I could be dining with my crew, but I can't because this table can't see, uh, seat six or eight people. Like five tops. Like this, with a foldable space, you could eat from here without eating at the chart table. We don't eat at the chart table. This can be actually moved away. I will show you in a bit. And you have lots of space here. There are more cupboards, basically a um, place to hide stuff a lot. Here is our chart space. The charts live here and all my navigational stuff. Uh, some, uh, some extra wiring, some extra gloves for diesel and so on. And what do we have here? It's wine storage, our favorite, fan favorite wine storage. The chart table is decent. It's not big. It has space for like half a map, uh, but it's big enough with windows and the second seat. And on the way here, we have this whole space. I don't think it wasn't was black before, but it was basically adapted for charter use. What I particularly like about this space is something different. It's a, it's the fact that these are movable. Look, if I remove that cushion, I can move this thing to the side, it can be it can be fixed so it doesn't move on its own. And now it's to the side. But what I can do now is I can stand here and work in the kitchen. I can work here in the kitchen, prepare some meals and not be in the way so everyone can get past me here. But I have my space to work with in addition to a second person working there. 
I believe this is a genius idea and all this can be moved as well. So we can have like a bench with two seats on this side. As I said, this is a very livable boat. This boat lets you, this boat provides you with the tidy details which help you feel at home here and be comfortable. And this metal pole is not in the way at all and everyone likes to touch it so it's impossible to keep clean. But look, it's basically this is the salon you're looking at with a lot of space and um, a lot of possibilities. We have a hot water tank here, a large storage there, which I'm going to go into. And what's hidden here is an electrical panel. I actually only now noticed that there is this door, which provides you with all your needs. And interesting enough, the radio is also hidden uh, back here. By the way, notice how much storage there is. The radio is hidden, so it doesn't obtrude you when you are not underway, when you are on anchor living with more space to the back. We are now in the port aft cabin. I would show the view from this magnificent window, but sadly it's blocked <laughs> by a garbage bag. No, but seriously, there are three windows here, one to the side, one small ventilation window, this large window, and also the one looking up for ventilation. So four, I almost can count. On this side, there is a large locker, lots and lots of space with some more space on top. You can also see that you can inspect the bolts for the arch here, which is quite nice in my opinion. The bed is decently sized and the lighting, lighting is also decent. But moreover, there is a lot of storage. This boat is very livable. It's not, the boat is very shallow under the, um, under the floor, but they managed to cram in lots of stuff. And here you can inspect your motor and you even have some more shelves back there and back there. For me, coming originally from a 1989 Genoa, this is quite, this is all quite high. So this is a lot of space for me, but the people felt a little crammed in here, which I can understand for first time yacht people. And yes, I can stand here. Well, basically full height. I'm 185. The starboard cabin is basically the same as the port side aft cabin, except we have our breakers here for everything actually, even the anchor winch. We have larger, um, I should have turned out the light. It, the light was turned. We have um, larger shelves, actually full cupboard. So in the front, front part of the cabin, this side goes to starboard and the one we saw in the Port side is aft. And that's basically it. One more thing you get is that you can enter the shower from here. So it's almost an ensuite shower or can be configured as one. Ta-da! And um, here we are. This is a dry shower actually. Uh, we used the space, it was very warm outside and we had to save water. So we used the space mostly at Jenica storage. But all in all, there is a, there is a pen and a door, which helps, um, which keeps the water from this part of the shower, and basically I liked it very much. So there are again mirrors here with a lot of storage in the back, lots and lots of it. Behind here the gar uh, the uh, black tank lives. Uh, one thing I would have changed is this door. This is not good in a wet shower. I would have made the door full size, so going from, from here all the way up. So this lip would provide water protection and a flush surface for the, so the water wouldn't drip onto this surface and wouldn't damage it. On the other, uh, all here, we have a simple sink with the same lip as in the front cabin and our toilet and some space be, uh, underneath, which can be used to let the black tank out so you don't have to crawl under the floor, which is very nice. Now let's go out. Here we are in the forward cabin. And you, if you didn't notice the mirror first, you haven't been watching enough of my videos. Hello. Everyone loves this mirror. Everyone. It opens up this space. I can't tell this enough. This is a genius design decision. Mirrors are a cheat code in design. The only problem is that from my 
perspective, I only see my chocolate side, not the rest. So only my good side. But it has tons of storage. First, there is storage we used for uh, for the life jackets. It has tons of room here. One, two, three. There is no fourth one because there is actually a bathroom here, which we'll visit shortly. This is a little bit narrow, but um, well, it's basically what you come to expect from about this size. It's long enough for me to sleep in, and yes, it's not the correct position, but just to demonstrate. And I feel comfortable either way. Actually, I often feel more comfortable sleeping uh, with my head that way. There is a large hatch opening up. So a little bit of stargazing might be possible. And large, and large windows over to this side and to this side. Looking forward from here, you see that I my <laughs> I wore shoes all the time. Also, you see that there is a large hanging closet, some storage space down below, and also some shelves which are used for extra cushions. Hanging closet and the shelves here. I hope something is visible. There is, of course, also light, which I forgot. You see, I don't spend too much time in the cabins on our trips. <laughs> much to do. Going left. This is a forward bathroom with a large mirror. You absolutely know how I love those. The mirror has storage in the back, and this is our present to the next crew. A small thing. What I would have changed is this groove here. It's this groove here. It's basically predestined to gather dust and mold. This should be flush with this whole lip. This is a wet shower and uh, your standard toilet. This one doesn't have a holding tank. I believe uh, a holding tank is still possible if you are sacrifice those shelves. The aft shower has a holding tank. There's a curtain. You know, I hate those as a plague. And this is all for the bathroom. I tried both of those. They are, well, they're reasonable, they are nice. And this concludes our forward cabin. Also, there is a little bit more storage down below. Just a teeny tiny bit. This concludes our Benetton 41.